Alright then, game number three, let's go. Uh, I get to choose who tears the battlefield, and um, we'll see if I draw Seizing Territory again. Okay, Fresh Supplies is a fantastic start. Fresh Supplies with Conscript Squad is fantastic. Lock and Load is good because it allows me to turn my Gideon to the two, which is the three. Sorry, to, to the two indirect, which is two melee. Um, it allows me to go for a lot, for some very quick, easy kill. Uh, Executioner's Axe isn't terrible as an opening either, but there's better. Uh, best defense is good here, so I think I'm just going to throw... I'm going to toss these two. And um, I get to choose who has the battlefield, so I can choose my battlefield and uh, get a fresh supply start here. And there we go. Okay. Now, maybe I should have kept the Executioner's Axe, actually, because uh, Executioner's Axe with Fighting Pit is very helpful because I'm doing extra damage. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be choosing mine, right? Despite all this? Yeah, we're choosing mine despite all this. So he gets shields, which kind of is a problem because I need to do more damage of the shields. Um, so yeah, let's uh, start with the Conscript Squad. I can start with the Gideon roll. And go for that 6 damage. Maybe I should have kept the lock and loaded. Need to do that much damage. Oh, yeah, of course. He gets to look and that makes a big difference. I'm thinking he's quite light on removal as well, actually. Uh, but he's keeping the desperate measures, which is an absolute nightmare. Uh, so I have to tactical mastery if I want to, like, have this thing do anything. For a chance to do anything. We've seen how important tactical mastery is, but I do want to do that still. So, you know, being able to search for desperate measures is huge. Maybe I should have less supports in this deck. But I don't have a choice, so let's uh, Tactical Mastery. I'm paying one for this. Which kind of sucks because um, best defense, hello. And it does nothing anyway. So, you know, um, this didn't go very well. Um, of course, I do get fresh supply still. So let's uh, Captain Phasma power action. Resource. Okay. Well, that's not helpful. I need damage, guys. Uh, I'm not getting damage, guys. So, yeah, fresh supplies, please. Uh, yeah, uh, Desperate Measures works really well against low-cost stuff. I mean, it works well against high cost stuff as well because it's more disrupt, but the low cost stuff is a card, which is also very significant. So now I only have two cards left in my hand after this, and I have a lot of blanks. In case you haven't noticed, I have a lot of blanks. Um, I don't want to really need to reroll anything yet. Uh, do I want to though? Because I can. Uh, I could reroll the uh, what, what, but he's got a chance of getting a focus anyway, so it's not a big deal. A resource. Fantastic. If I was him, I'd resolve that disc. Yeah. And he has the best defense. Okay. Um. Let's hit some damage. One. And he hits the focus again. So he takes one. I think I just take the money. Honestly. Oop. And he hits a two melee, and he probably gets to remove a die. I do still get to Gideon, though. Gideon power action is significant. Oh, it was not an event. Okay. But that's two melee, which sucks. Um... If I doubt that, that would turn into a focus, potentially. And then you get two money out of it. Um, so let's not do that. Let's resolve three into the Jabba. Because clearly Jabba is the one who needs to die. Because he might just got to reroll if he's really trying for this resources because he's got a Vader's Fist or something. Yeah, I'm okay disrupting that. If 
I can keep him off of Vader's Fist for a turn, that's just huge. Alright, so let's Gideon roll this back in. Hey, another two. Cool. Gideon for the win. Rolling those twos. Yeah. If I just keep him off... Okay. Resource. Alright. I will take the money. But I do not have a um, Mega Blaster. Oh god, no good to me dead. Healing for two. Gonna be able to play something big. Ah, Mega Blaster Trooper. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Three indirect? Yeah, please. Here, here's a doubt. Try and try and hit a nothing for me, would you? A one ranged. Okay, well that's still better. Mm, no good to me dead, so good. Ah, oh, I should have done it on the focus. What am I doing? Oh, I should have done that on the focus. Because now he can focus to whatever the hell he wants. Right, he can do five. He can do four or five here. He can do a fo- He can go for max damage. Do seven or six. Okay, he's going for money. Okay. That terrifies me that he's going for money. But yeah, he could have just done seven to this. This is only a 21 health team. I have six resources though going into this next round. Uh, handheld cannon's good, and so is executioner's axe. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with a rollout of Gideon though, obviously, because, um, hello, I, uh, I need to roll out Gideon before he dies. And that's a four. That's, that's significant. Back in Executioner's Axe and Handheld Cannon on Phasma, and then he's gonna have to switch targets to Phasma, potentially. Doubt. Uh, the two. Blank. Okay. Gideon, roll that back in. Resource, okay. Don't want a fighting pit with Gideon, though. I might be able to Warning Siren it. His two focus, so I can Warning Siren that. Lock and Load is not doing very well. Probably need more removal instead. I don't need to Warning Siren that immediately, but I do need to Warning Siren that. Uh... He's got four resources, that just terrifies me. Let's Phasma! Oh wow, okay. I'll, I need. I thought I needed a fighting pit, but that's, uh, that's five. Which puts Jabba to two. Okay, he's gonna Sentinel now, and he might get some removal. Resource. Okay, that gets him to the five resources he would need. Doesn't hit a thing. Five resources is what he'd need. Let's, um... I can't really stop it, let's be honest. Let's play the Executioner's Axe for two, because I'm probably going to kill him. Uh, maybe I should have fight and pit at the Sentinel Messenger, actually. Um, that would have been a good way of dealing with that. Yeah, if he has no removal, I can uh, lock and load to the two indirect and then kill. If I played handheld and rolled out and stuff, though, uh, I could go to the three extra indirect, and that's pretty huge. Especially if I then warning siren it because it's a Vader's fist that's about to come out. Yeah, let's let's do that. I, I'm pretty sure he has no removal at this point. Otherwise, he would remove something.
Now, Phasma is stuck with only two upgrades, but they are decent upgrades. Okay, he's rolling out the Mega Blasters. Two, two, two. Okay. That kills Gideon. So, um... Let's remove one of those twos. Okay. Um, I can roll out Phasma now, I think. I'm, I'm certain he has no removal. I have to play as if he doesn't. I need to win. Okay, that got me nothing. That's great. Now I need to actually resolve the Executions Act before I can continue. There goes the Fader's Fist. I can near miss this, but then I don't have the money for lock and load. Four for one, can't even afford it. That's good. Uh, so I could near miss the two focus instead. So I lock and load, I can go to the three indirect and a two. Uh, he then goes to the three. Uh, then I don't have the money. I need the money. I need to actually just resolve this money right now. As much as that pains me. Then he can focus, then I'll remove it with near miss. Yep, removing that die. Now if I'm fighting pitting, I can't fight and pit the um I'm I'm my fighting pit's gonna be on what? Yeah. At best. Okay, so now he has the money to do this. Um, so yeah, let's uh, lock and load, I guess. Let's uh, lock and load. Let's go to the two and the three. Oh, nope, nope. That's, that's the wrong character. The three. It is good damage, at least. I do get an Executioner's Axe back out of it, but he's not going to resolve... He's not going to roll anything, unless he rolls that one melee or the one resource side. Executioner's Axe is not being that effective, even though I'm killing people. Hmm. He gets two more rolls out of the Vader's Fist, though. And Vader's Fist is so good. Okay, didn't hit anything. That's good. Um, yeah, so let's just kill that Jabba now. Get rid of those focus sides, at least. And then I can fighting pit the what, I guess. It's a two. He gets. He still gets a focus, but I lose. I take one. He takes two. That's nice. Still getting hit for a ton, though. So that's three indirect. Now I do want to see if I can kill off Watt first. I do still have a. Um, Yep, Gideon dies. I do still have um, a Seize the Day, so I could potentially kill off Watt before he rolls in the Mega Blast Trooper, but it's not looking good for Phasma to survive here. Indirect. Uh, uh, not indirect. I want to... Ah. Damn it. <laughs> I want to disrupt. I wanted the one in six. Instead, he gets the best one. Ah, shit, I forgot my Executioner's Axe. Okay, Riot Shield's good. Pro, Brat, Priority Target. Not, none of them are terrible. I can't believe I forgot my Executioner's. Alright, well, I think I need to roll in to get the route activated. 
Um, but then that does mean the probe is going to not be the best, but... I think I need the, I need the route, let's be honest here. A two for one melee, I'm happy resolving that, I guess. Okay, he hit a motives. What's he what's he choosing? This one. Call him melee, I'm sure. Hits the melee. Alright. Let's uh, probe him for the other two. I hit the other desperate measures. Okay. Uh desperate measures on my Mega Blast Trooper, if I got it out, would be the game over. So that's good that it isn't. That he didn't. Three blanks. That's exactly what I want to see here. So let's uh, Captain Phasma power action. Two and a one. All right, that's damage. A resource, and what does he roll? What does he get? Nothing. All right. Sounds good to me. Um, do I want to re-roll this resource side? The resource side is good. But I think I want to re-roll this resource side. Let's fight him pit. This one with this one. Let's go. Of course it's a blank. Hey, double blanks. All right. Well, there we go. He gets a blank, I get a blank. We're all we're all great here. It's all great. Four for one, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna just route that four for one right here and there. I cannot afford to take a four to one four for one to the face. But I can't afford to take any of these dice to the face, let's be honest. That's a three. Don't have removal for that. Let's got this priority target and reroll these two. All right, six does kill. What? If I kept my priority target, I then would have got another fighting pit activation actually, so that would have been good. Maybe I should have done that after all. Pay one for the fickle. Wish I'd be able to afford its fee myself. Blank sounds good to me. Um. Yeah, so let's hit uh, Watt Tambor for five. Which then lets me get out my uh, Executioner's Axe again. She hits another two for one. Um, so yeah, if uh, if Priority Target had been on and Fine Pit would have worked, then uh, I would have actually survived. The, well, no, then it could have rolled a two for me to win, potentially. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to have to right shield over the executioners here after this. Because I can't uh, play another because attached characters upgrade limits reduced by one. Alright, those are some ones. That sounds good to me. Let's uh, resolve three into the sentinel messenger. Pay my one for the privilege. Alright, I need to do three damage next round. Assuming I survive this round. He has one, one piece of reroll. Okay. I am going to... Oh, I am... Oh, okay. Nine, ten. All right, cool. I'm going to overwrite the executioners with a right shield. Now, unfortunately, this does come in two sets of damage, right? I don't roll in all this dice at once. Okay, hits a two there, and he still has the Fickle Mercenaries activation. Um, so that sucks. Nope. Uh, nope. Go, go away, right shield. Okay. Two and six. Damn. He hits it. He hits it. He hits it. 
Finish a piece, crack down. I got one more useful. I need more removal in this deck. So close. Ah, oh, that sucks. That sucks so bad. Um, if the trooper had rolled a two instead of a blank that one time on Fighting Pit. If I'd been able to get out my Mega Blast Troopers ever. Yeah, Fighting Pit doesn't seem as good as... Does not seem as good as taking resources for Mega Blaster Troopers and stuff. If I'd... Mm, I think I played the deck wrong, honestly. I think I played the deck slightly wrong. Of course, if I didn't have Solidarity, I could make this deck very consistent. But I think Gideon's power action is what is required to keep this thing going on. Ah, uh, yeah, so... Will do. Alright, well, that was round three, and I lost. So now I am 2-1. Um, so that really sucks. Damn, it was close. Ah, it was close. Okay. So there's definitely some not performing well here that I'll need to need to look into here. But it's really difficult when I've got 30 cards. But I need more removal. Ah, uh, it sucks that he had Desperate Measures. It was a Desperate Measures deck. Desperate Measures is what won him this game. Nyam, 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 nyam. Alright, this has been me again, Slide 99 AK No Brainer. Thank you for watching. Signing out.